What's going on guys, King Shrats here, back with another video on the channel. And today we're doing one of my favorite go-to meals is another staple meal. This is kind of my chill and relaxed day because I've had wings and you name it. So this is one of my things that I go to on my low calorie days. Very easy to make, very simple to make. What I am talking about is a stir fry. Now we're gonna jazz it up a little bit, but we're doing a basic chicken and broccoli stir fry and I'm jazz it up a little bit by using or making fried rice from pretty much scratch. Some of the stuff I do is semi-homemade. A lot of the sauces I'll buy if I like the ingredients and things of that nature, but everything else is usually scratch made. So I'm not gonna hold you guys up too long. I know you're just here to see whatever you gotta see, so let's get into the video. All right, the first thing I've got here are boneless, skinless chicken thighs, which I trim most of the fat off. I do leave some on. The reason I do that is because I don't cook with a lot of oil. The fat in the chicken will help get you a nice crust. I'm gonna put it on the cast iron skillet and then take it off to add into the rest of the stir fry store bought I bought bourbon sauce and Kung Pao sauce actually they're both really really low in calories I believe 25 calories for two tablespoons on each which is really low usually they're up towards the 60 75 80 even 100 but it lets me use more sauce because I like a little bit more sauce on my chicken so I've got my cast iron already getting hot it's not hot enough yet no it's not hot enough yet but it's just got a little bit of cooking spray on it I didn't use oil because the chicken has a much higher fat content so once this thing gets hot all right, so you can definitely see this is hot enough now. So we're gonna get our chicken down. And what I'm gonna do is just spread this across so that it's got an even layer, and then I'm not gonna touch it for about two or three minutes. And then, all right, so I got this spread across. I'm not gonna touch it till it gets a little crust in the bottom. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take. It might take like a couple more minutes, but I'm thinking about three or four just to get a little bit of a crust. Flip it over, do the same thing, and then we'll be able to sauce this a little bit more later on, but we're gonna take this off and then add the rest of the vegetables. I'm just gonna start moving these around. It's got a little sear to it, which is what I want you to see right there. So the rest of these should have something similar going on. You just going to continue to move these around until obviously they're tipped all the way through after this. So just let them sit, let it all get across, move it around again, repeat the process. Very annoying. But we move. You see that crust right there? That's what I'm looking for. We're trying to get that on everything. Just got to keep moving it around and then letting it sit. That's all. All right, you can see that was about seven minutes moving it around, give or take. It might have been a little bit longer, but you can see the crust going on on there. Now that's pretty hot. And the color has changed, so it's nice and caramelized from the, the uh, marinades, whatever have you. So we're going to take this bad boy off before it gets burned, because you can see the side of the skillet. But let me take this off real quick. So we're back on our OG pan now. Got a little bit of garlic, got a little bit of sesame oil. I got 400 grams here of broccoli, salt, pepper, chopped garlic into the pool. Let this sweat down for about two to three minutes depending on how soft you want your broccoli. All right, so broccoli's been going for about three to four minutes. That's about the consistency. I want, I want to do is just throw this chicken back in here and toss this up after I add a little bit more of that bourbon sauce. Not too much. I don't want it drowning in it. I just want it to be coated. After this, all right, so that bad boy looks about done. Yeah, that's about done. So we're going to take this off, and now we're going to get onto the fried rice aspect. This is right for flavor. All right, first things first, we got our oil again. What I have here are just peas and carrots that a little veggies, a little color to the rice. I'm gonna hit this with some chopped garlic and some chopped pineapple. Now it's just regular pineapple we just bought. Chop it up, dice it up. So you can tell if the cuts are uneven, this is not how they came. But all I'm gonna do is stir this up, let this sit until it gets a little brown on all the sides. It's starting to get a little brown, brown a little bit on there. So I just moved everything to one side because this is where my rice is gonna go. What I have here is actually steamed white rice that I made um, probably an hour ago. And what I did was I stuck it in the freezer for about 15 minutes. If you don't have leftover rice, cold rice works a lot better. If you just warm up rice and throw this in here, it's going to get very gummy. And the consistency is not going to be what you're looking for. So this is actually thrown in the freezer. It's nice and cold at this point. And all I'm going to do is start adding this bad boy in just using my hand because it's the easiest thing to do. Actually, probably can just, it's just yolk that in here, right? Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna add that in there, moving that around a bit. Now we're just gonna hit it with some soy sauce. Put it in with the vegetables you can see, and all you're gonna do is wanna continuously move it like every 15 to 20 seconds until it starts to turn brown like that. Now as you can tell, that was probably a dumb thing right there. I made a little hole right there. What I'm gonna do there, a little bit of cooking spray. Also, just a tip. What works best, I've used that I've made fried rice. Now obviously I'm trying to make it a little more macro friendly, is actually butter, but I used just regular oil, just not much, so it's not gonna have the same consistency as normal fried rice. 
And we're just gonna fold this right in here and let this cook off a little bit and then we're gonna reincorporate it through the rest of the rice. Give me a second. See that egg starting to cook up, so all I'm gonna do is start stirring it throughout the whole rice and start adding it like so. Very simple. About ready to plate. It's about ready to eat. And it doesn't have the same amount of calories as normal fried rice does because I didn't use three tablespoons of butter. It's just about done. What I want to do now is take this off the heat. Now, if you have anything you'd like to add to this, some people will add ginger. You can add green onions or something like that just to kind of give it a little bit more flavor. But that's all that she wrote right there. Still has good flavor to it. All right, I'm going to plate these bad boys up because I'm ready to eat now. We made it. Pineapple fried rice. A little stir fried chicken and broccoli. Looking really good. All right, let's try to dig into this. Got a winner here. A little chicken, a little broccoli. I'm ready. A little chicken, a little broccoli. Let's see what this final verdict is. This broccoli never makes a difference because it's got that nice snap to it. But the sauce is superb. And that char on the chicken really seal those juices in. So very, very juicy. You can see that char right there. That is just what you're looking for. Mm. I'll eat the whole thing. I'll be back. Got a little bit of that fried rice. Mm. What it reminds me of is the kind you get from like hibachi spots as opposed to like just like a regular Chinese food place. Definitely not as greasy. And they use more like a yellow in the rice. But this one was done right on the a pan it would be better with butter but i care about my calories and since i want to do reviews on wonderful wings and things i have to be careful but still even with the oil mm, i can't stop eating this <laughs> feel like it's one more chopsticks for the chicken and then a spoon for the rice i don't know why in my head it makes sense that's so good, man. <clears throat> See, it works. I just don't like it. I need to get it in my mouth faster. Yeah. All right, well, that's going to be the end of the video. You can see my low day. Got a nice little meal in. Big on taste. Not that high in calories. It's a little bit over 2,000 for obviously more than what a box of rice would be if you bought it, which I really, really enjoyed. So without further ado, let's be in the, the video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Send me what you want to make next. If I haven't made it yet, I'm really, really hot in this kitchen now. I got to turn the air back on, but it's really loud, so I can't. Anyway, I'm out. Hand signs. Made it to YouTube.